so I didn't think you'd want to hear his work call. I know I don't like listening to them, so I'm in a different room. And I'm not going to play the piano. You're welcome. Or the guitar. You're welcome. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thank you for all the subscriptions. All the new subscribers, welcome. Thank you for um, taking the time out of your day to come and visit with me for a little bit. And I want to start off with my whips. I worked on two whips this week. First, the Garden Glade by Carriage House Samplings. And here is what she looks like. Do you have some threads up here that I'm... But I came on up here and started her dress and oh, here's the tree. Yes, the tree stump is red. I'm working on that. I tried to outline a little bit so I can do some filling in. And the next thing, one moment. Is I worked a little bit on the on the um, goose. Pulled it on down just a snitch. You probably couldn't even tell the difference. Maybe a row or two. We're talking very minimal. And today, I wanted to kind of, um, that was it. Like, this could be like a one minute video. Bye! Just kidding. And I said, hey, I'm back, but you don't know that I'm back. But I'm back after three other takes. Um, where was I? I don't know. I don't know. share with you some finishes that I've done in the past and you're gonna see why I've chose this I want to start out with the positive so let's start out with the positive here are some and I'm gonna highlight Plum Street samplers which I love um, and here are some previously stitched items now they're not fully finished but they are fully stitched and this one milk and cream co um, this one was one of my frustrating um, stitches, so I modified it. I did not do the barn. I did not go. It was like after I did the grass and got this in, I'm like, you know what? I'll just leave it as is. I'm, I'm happy with her as is, and she's finished. So I'm going to turn that into a little something, a little pillow maybe. There's one. This is another one. This one I did not take out of the plastic. A hundred ways. Ooh, can we not glare? A hundred ways. I love this one. You know, I love love. This one. This. Jane Austen. I love Jane Austen. Um, this one was stitched on Kitten Stitcher. Um, one of her, this graham cracker fabrics. I love that fabric. And a future stitch that I want to stitch that is very, very similar is this one. Soul Sister. I think that one's so cute. I think I've shown this one before. But that's what I, I have the other part of this that I want to stitch on the same fabric. That. And then I have Sweetheart Hill with a glare and a hole. Oh, look at that lovely hole in the... <laughs> yeah, all professional around here. Um... This one. And yes, the house was a lot that I love stitching houses. I um, really it was the grass that gave me a fit. But there you go. That one's a finish, a Plum Street finish. This one. Freeze on me. I may or may not have showed this one in a previous video. I don't know. Um, just a Plum Street. I know it's been on Instagram, yeah, but go chase for the I love houses and bricks. So that's that one. Yeah, 
Now I showed all that like to to show that I love Plum Street. I love Plum Street. But don't we all have that one project? That one whip that you question yourself about, that you have to make yourself stitch, that you are frustrated with sometimes, maybe you frogged on it and fudged on it a lot. Um, we all have that one, I know we all do because I've seen a lot of floss viewers, be, they've been talking about frogging and the one nemesis whip. Yeah, I have one too. And it's a Plum Street. That's why I wanted to show you that I have completed some Plum Streets. I love Plum Street. And it's this one. It's Heritage Sampler. I've worked on this one for, it's probably one of my oldest whips. I want to say maybe two years. I haven't worked on it that long, but I, I've had it as a, as a um, whip. I've showed it before. And here's what I did. And I, I had to fudge it because I miscounted. Um, I left some things out because it just was not right. And I mean, and I love it when I'm in it and going, but it has a lot of over one. It's some teeny tiny little over one stitches. The flag down here is going to be over one. Um, this one, it's like I look at it and I love it. And there are two other ones that kind of are companion pieces to it. I struggle. I struggle with this one so much. Like if it weren't so far along, I'd probably just be like, me, I'm done. But I hate to have put that much time into something and then be like, oh, I quit. Um, and I do like it. It's just, just, uh, just, I don't know. It's just one of those. You know you have that one. You know you have that one whip. Um, and that's what it is. It's, it's this one for me. So for my birthday, this is, it's August. It's birthday month for me and birthday month for a lot of the other guys. Happy birthday. Uh, happy August birthday, guys. Um, my birthday's on the 10th. And for my birthday, I'm going to create a hashtag. It is hashtag happy, happy, FF Sal. Now, Sal is really not, it's not really a stitch along. It could be a stitch along. I'm going to call it that anyway. So I'm going to put it down here so you can see. What does the FF stand for, you ask? Well, it can stand for, um, you're going to be working on a project that maybe is a fantastic find. Maybe it's your favorite project that you cannot put down. Maybe it is one that you need to frog. And you're going to have a frogging frenzy. Maybe you need to do that. Maybe you're going to finish something and do a finish finale. Maybe you have that forgotten whip from a long time ago that you're like, oh yeah, maybe you're going to work on that. Maybe you have a frustrating function that you need to get out and you need to tackle. And you just need a little push to get that out. A little nudge, a little, come on, let's do it. Happy, happy, FF Sal. Post your frustrating pieces. This is not, um, we love designers and we know it's not designers' faults. So if you are a designer, which I'm pretty sure there are no designers watching my video, but if you are, please know that this is not a reflection of your beautiful work. We love your beautiful work. We love all the beautiful <laughs> works that you do. It's just sometimes maybe it's the fabric, maybe it's the threads, maybe you messed up or and you just it's not you're just not feeling it. I mean and you need a little nudge. You either need to, you know, finish it up, you need to frog that out so that you're ready to go, you need to fin fi fully finish something, whatever it may be. Happy Abby, FF Sal. Join me on August the 10th and maybe frog a little for me. Maybe finish something. Maybe share your favorite feline. I don't, it doesn't matter. You can share whatever you want to. I don't care. I don't care. Just a place to make you smile. Just a place to share. And we share the good and we share the ugly sometimes, don't we? I know I do. I feel some, you know. And speaking of sharing the ugly, I did a, a an I quit. I, I don't like to say an I quit, but I stopped stitching. If you remember this one, remember uh, Redbird Sampler, loved it. Tried to stitch it with a cold pour, 
didn't like it, changed the colors, and it was the McCall one. Remember, if you go way back in episode two, maybe, two or three, I don't know, it was one of the first few. Um, I tried it and I made it a McCall, which I liked, but I just, I just, no. I, I, there are other things that I'd rather stitch on, and that was not one of my favorites. So, to all you bird lovers, Julie, sorry, but I pulled it out. I frogged it. So, here's my, here's my progress on that. <laughs> this gets to go back and be used for something else. This one is no longer a whip. It may call to me another time. I may try to start it another time, but for now, it is, I'm not counting it as a whip. It's, it will be a new start maybe another time, or maybe it won't. I don't know. I, I've got to do some soul searching on that one but for now it's out maybe you have a whip that you need to be finished with and I don't mean finished stitching I mean you're done with it it's okay it's okay to let go and not finish I'm here to tell you it's okay this is a hobby this is enjoyable if it becomes work and frustrating where's the fun in that right so I'm not encouraging you to quit, but I'm saying if there's something that you just, just let it go. And I'm not going to burst into song, even though I have the piano. And let it go. Okay? Alright, that's that. That's the birthday whip. That's the frustrating or fantastic or what have you um, portion of the program. And then I just thought, you know, I didn't have a lot to, to say today, but I did want to come to, um, I do have plans to go to uh, Asheville tomorrow. Janine and I are going on a birthday bash, on a birthday retreat. Um, it's called Stitching in the Mountains. It's held um, in an inn, like a bed and breakfast inn, I-N-N. -N. Um, so that will be fun. We're going to go do some uh, built more some excursions. So that's gonna be fun So I'm gonna take my stitching and there's gonna be some stitching time to you know stitch around and so, so I'm looking forward to that. So I have to um, Get some more outlining so that I can just fill in and That's what's on my what's on the docket. So I'm getting ready for that. So that will be fun and happy birthday to Janine tomorrow Happy birthday to Danny of Danny of all art. She opened her um, shop so go check her out and go buy her stuff. She has some great stuff. Great, great stuff. And she's just starting, so be patient as she creates. But anywho, there's a little for her. She did open her shop today for on her birthday. Happy birthday to her. Happy birthday to Janine. And happy birthday to me next week. But you'll see next week. But um, I wanted to do just a quick little kind of get to know you. If you don't know me by now, um, then you'll never, never, never know me. Ooh, 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 ooh. No. Um, I'm going to do a little this or that. There's my husband. Whistling. Ah, that's awesome. I'd rather hear him whistle than his, his meeting so right? Okay, I want to play a little this or that. So, I have two things, and I'm going to try to choose this or that. I don't really like to do favorites. I don't really have favorites. I mean, I do, but I don't. I'm all over the place. So, if you say, what's your favorite this? I can't tell you because I, I just like so many. So, it's hard for me to, like, pick one. So, how about this or that? Calling or texting? I'm a texter. I'm a slow texter. I'm a grandma texter. But I'd rather te text than call. Um, unless it's something that's really long that I can't talk about. But I'd rather just shoot you a text and be like, hey, yeah, here's the question, here's the answer. Um, I will talk on my phone, but that I'm not much of a phone talker person. Um, arrive early? Or arrive late? Arrive early. Yeah, arrive early. Um, my dad was in the military, so we were always places early. Husbands in the military, so we're always places early. If you're on time, you're late kind of mentality. So I, I guess I'm kind of accustomed to that, to like, you know, appreciate people's time, get there, you know, when you're supposed to be there. So I'm gonna say early or on time. Planning or winging it. 
This one I kind of fall in between because I do like to have a somewhat of a skeleton plan, if you will, like some I'd like to do's. But then I'll wing it. I'll also wing it um, for my floss tubes. I'll kind of have an idea, but I don't really have an idea. And then I just, that's why you get a lot of blabbering and editing and madness. Um, how about talk or listen? You would think from me jabbering my jaws every Wednesday on a floss tube that talking would be my thing. It's, it's really not. I'm really introverted. Um, my friends will be like, you're lying. That's because I know you and I'm comfortable with you. I will be a talker. But I like to listen. I, um, I'm more of a listener. Like, I will talk, but I'd rather just you talk and tell me and I'll laugh and carry on with you and put a little comment here and there. I'm not much of a talk talker, which totally sounds like a lie because I'm sitting here talking to a camera with no one around. Um, clean as you cook or um, clean at the end. And I am a clean as you cook. If I'm cooking, I try to clean as I go. Um, that's just my preference. Walk slow or walk fast? I'm a walk fast. I'm a walk fast. And I think I walk fast and then I walk with other people and they walk really, really fast. So maybe my walk fast is a walk slow to someone else. I don't know. But I feel like I walk fast. I like to kind of, you know, get there. Beach or pool? If I'm swimming, I want a pool. And I just, I want a private pool. I, I don't love sharing. Um, I don't have a private pool, just FYI, but I would, um, I do have family members that do, and I do enjoy going and, you know, kind of having to yourself. Not, because I don't like splashing. I don't like fun. I think I'm getting to that age where I don't like fun. I like getting on a tube and floating, relaxing, you know, that kind of thing. Beach. I love the beach. I love to look at the beach. I love to look at the ocean. I love to walk in the sand. I love to take walks on it. I do not like, I do not get in it. I do not go out. There are critters in there. I, I don't. No, thank you. Um, yeah, so if, if I'm swimming or want to be in the water, I'm in a pool. I'm not in a lake. I'm not in anything that has... Um, critters. I love critters, but I don't want them nibbling at my toes or stinging or biting or interacting in any way. Uh, laundry or dishes? I'm going to tell you a weird thing about me. I love to do laundry. I'm a weirdo. I know this, but if if I had to do one chore for the rest of my life, and that's all I could, I would do laundry. I love doing laundry. Now, I don't want to do everybody's laundry, so don't be like, oh, well, I'll send you my laundry. To no, do your own laundry now. But I, there's something I love, the fact that I can put in a load and then I can go do something else. It really appeals to my, like, break it up. Uh, and then I'll hear it and I'll go throw in the dryer and then I get to do something else. And I love folding. I was in retail for a while and I would fold clothes. So, like, folding to me is kind of like organizing and everything looks so nice and hanging up things. I love it. I love it. Um, dishes. I do not love dishes. I do not love cleaning. I don't mind vacuuming. Vacuuming and laundry are probably my two. Um, when I was young, I liked to dust, but I, I don't like to dust now. Um, I will if I have to. Um, yeah, that's some of that. Let's see what else I have here. Vacation or staycation. I'm in the middle here because I love to travel and go to places I've never been. I also have my homebody. I love being home. Um, I love taking the RV 20 minutes down the road, at, road to a park and staying there for the weekend as a staycation. I love them both. Um, so, I, again, I, that one's hard for me. Night or morning? I'm, I'm kind of in the middle on that, too. I'm not a morning person. I'm becoming more of a morning person than I have ever been. Um, but I'm kind of like a 10 o'clock. Uh, I mean, that's morning. It's before noon. But, but then, like, by about 10 o'clock, I'm in bed. So I'm not like a night owl. I like to do things at night to, like, about 6 or so after, you know, we eat and do. I like to stitch and do things at night, too. But I don't know. I, 
maybe I'm just lazy and that's not an either morning part. That's just a like, I just like to, I don't know. I don't like, I don't know. That one's hard. Um, passenger or driver? Passenger. Um, I will say that I'm a, a little anxious. Someone, people that know me are going to laugh at this. I think I'm a little anxious whenever it comes to uh, travel in cars, planes, trains, automobiles, whatever. Um, but in a car, especially if I don't know where I'm going or if it's going to be on very heavily, um, a heavy area, urban area with lots of traffic and stuff, and I don't know where I'm going, that causes me anxiety. So I'd rather be a passenger, but I am slowly um, proud of myself because I am driving more. You're thinking, wow, what an accomplishment. Well, for me, that is kind of an accomplishment. Um, I, I do drive places without anxiety as much now. So I don't mind driving, but I would prefer not to. I would prefer to just look out the window, talk, um, stitch. I can't stitch in the car if it's on um, preferred purple. <laughs> um, yeah, so passenger is what I'm going to say with that. Art museum, history museum. That's when I'm in between because I do love the arts. I love art museums. I love creativity there. I also love history, y'all. I like history a lot too. So that one, I would be happy either way. Um, if you said you could only go to one probably art just because it'd be something diff you know, different um car or bike car um train or airplane hmm I would say I've been on a train I have been on the um gross the great smoky mountain one I'm drawing a blank anyway the train it's, at Christmas time, it's the Polar Express, but I went when it was just fall, um, and that was very enjoyable. That's only like train, and it was sh relatively short, so that's only train ride I've been on. So I don't know how I would do like cross country on a train or something like that. I think it'd be fine. Um, planes, I can. I have a little anxiety, but I can do. I can do planes too, and I like getting there fast. So that's um, if I can get there quick, I'll take a plane. Um, and I just bite the bullet on anxiety. Time machine or magic wand? Magic wand. And it would probably be used on the weirdest things. Um, like, house is clean. Whip is done. Frogging's done. Um, yeah. A meal. Yeah. Um, time machine? Me. Eh. I, I don't know. I'm not... I wouldn't want to go to the future. I wouldn't want to revisit the past. I'm good where I am. So I'm saying what? Magic wand. Passion or stability? Hmm. That one's hard. Because I do feel like you should follow your passion. Um, although I do like, I always like that safety net as well. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Now see, for my kids, I would say go with your passion. But have a backup plan. You know, I'm that I'm that person. Predictability or excitement? Um, probably predictability. Uh, you know how it is. I'm, it's hard for me. Like surprises are hard for me because I have to like tone down my. I love it. I have to tone down my excitement for things. If I have an event that's coming up that's really exciting. I have to kind of like not think about it because I just like a kid on kid ready for Christmas. I get too woo, excited about it. So I like, but I do like things to be predictable. Probably more than just oh something exciting. I'd rather it be just like know what's happening, be prepared, that kind of personality. You know, boring, old and boring, and uh, no fun around here. That's it, y'all. That's it. I hope you had your stitching out and that you were stitching. I hope you got a giggle. I hope you had a, a little laugh. Um, 
I hope you follow, go and post on a hashtag. Go hashtag it. Um, let's get those frogs out. Let's, let's make it, make it in a turn something that's not enjoyable into something that you can get through. That's, that's kind of life, isn't it? I mean, we have, all of us have things we don't enjoy happen to us. Um, natural disasters, deaths, illnesses, and all those kind of things. And um, what can we do about it? Well, we can change our mindset about it and try to be positive about it, try to endure, think of others, counter blessings. Boy, this got really life lessening. I'm not into life lessons. You do you. Fill your feels and this will probably get edited out. If not, there you go. <laughs> this is so weird. I'm so sorry. Anywho. And lost two out. Bye guys. Bye.